is Friday. Uh, I've come into town again to uh, see if I can capture some of these lovely wagtails that uh, come to this area to roost. Uh, each year, uh, this area of Tarpe Gate uh, on the uh, on the east side of town, uh, at the beginning of Chiang Mai Road, is inundated with wagtails. I'll leave a, an image above. Uh, last evening, Thursday, uh, the annual census by the Lana Bird Club uh, was held and they counted about 1,700 uh, in this little area here, in these trees and also the trees uh, behind. They were shining lights up into the trees either side of the moat here, trying to identify the birds. What's happening here uh, is Dr. Rungsit. He's, he's a heart surgeon. He's a, a, a really remarkable uh, birder, and uh, he holds uh, sway here with all the birds in Thailand. He loves to show children uh, what the birds are and where to go to look for them. And, he, he takes people out on walks and they do walks in Bangkok and in Chiang Mai and they do census. The birds, Doyintanon is a regular census they do. And this census here of the wagtails uh, is something that he holds every year. At this time of year, these wagtails, they sleep here. They sleep in these trees here. And then they'll go off somewhere else. On the main. There's lots of them coming in now. There's, I'd say, 40, 50 I've seen here. And uh, they're flying around, swoop, 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 swoop in their flights. There's also some swifts here, and obviously pigeons in the background as well now and again. But they're coming from all different angles, and they're, they seem to be landing on, on, on the roof over this far side here, and also on the other side of Chiang Mai. Well, I'm going to hop on my bike, and I'm going to go down to the Mare Car uh, Canal. Well, despite wearing a mask, I've just taken it off to do this, uh, the smell of this canal is not the healthiest uh, you would expect. Uh, they've cleaned up either side and they've made it very, very picturesque. It looks lovely and uh, people are coming here and taking lots of selfies. It's gorgeous. It's going to be much better than this as it develops, but they've got to sort out the smell. The smell of the canal is uh, a bit like, um, you know, it's, um, it's got an effluent smell to it. Mm. Very nice looking place though. Put the mask back on. Well, as I was saying, this place has got the makings of something very attractive. Uh, I've been to uh, a couple of cities in 
uh, China and you get to walk along lovely uh, streets that have been decorated very nicely and you get people selling things, uh, you know, touristy stuff and it's next to water, uh, you know, you have water wheels and you have, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, knickknacks to buy and you can actually eat food by the side of the water as well. That's, being sold. that's what's happening here. It's going to be very nice when the, uh, the place is finished. It's early days yet, but uh, when it's complete and when it's developed further, I think it would be very, very nice. Are being sold by people who live here. They are. This, this is their homes. So, oh, slow bar on the way. Oh, where's that? We're on our way to it here. Slow bar on the way since 2022. That's something to remember. Slow bar. Talk up. Talk up. Oh, cafe yen cup. Um, cappuccino good day. Chai cup. Chai cup. Mai wan yet no? Mai wan yet dai Very nice. Slow bar. On the way. Well, we're not quite finished yet. They're still putting lanterns up here. Or taking them down. Talk up. Don't need Tamalai cup. Tamalai cup. Oh, some calm. Some? Yeah. Been longer string to me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Cow cup. This is like, oh, this is nice. Ah, now, this is unique. This is very nice. Suai Mark. Suai Mark Mark. And here, like up. It one bow. It one bow. Oh. My jom nam ka. Kap kap. Oh, Suai Mark. Oh, chop D. Kap mak up. Do you remember me? I can remember you. How are you? Yes. So what did Cap? Wow. I back for Cap. I sell my product here. Wow. Good for you. This is very very good, because all the way along here, I, I have, I've just been saying here, everybody sells the same. Everybody sells the same. Everybody sells the same. This is different. Yeah. Well done. I think very few. Made by uh, the original. Yes, but but this is unique, and I think if if people see this, well done. You ever see at Katowice? No, I not see it. Tell me. Last 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 week I not sell because I very busy. But the. Pungni by me. Pungni you buy me. Pungni me me Halloween. Cap the. Couldn't you buy me? Oh, the young lady. Well, just talk to this man here that, at this home. Uh, he's actually the manager at uh, Tao Eid, the um, uh, Cab Tao Eid, the uh, area that uh, is a market area that uh, is starting up over near my home. He was there last week, and I was talking to him about the you know the setup of it, and he, he does everything. He's a jack of all trade, and he's just been telling me there uh, he's wanting to set up a workshop at Tao Eid uh, because that's. You know, it's an old brick uh, foundry, uh, and he's going to set up a workshop to make these things um, like this. I hope to see him there tomorrow. Oh, look at this! Hello, can I can I order a book, please? 
Yes, uh, it's uh, the. Hello. Uh, yes, my name is Gary Harbottle Johnson. Uh, can I order a book, please? Uh, yes, it's the Atlantis of Lana. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, my name? Uh, yes, Gary Harbottle Johnson. Yes, 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 yes. It's a great book. Have you read it? I mean, it's full of number plates. I can see that, but I'm just wondering why all the number plates are next to the clong here and uh, next to the canal. Maybe these are the number plates that have fallen off vehicles that have gone in the canal. I don't know. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to walk down to the second bridge down the bottom here and uh, turn the corner. Oh, there's a pizza place here. Look, there's a pizza zone. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, mini pizza for 20 baht. And then uh, small, medium, large bits. And 179 for the large seafood. This could work very well uh, if they get it right. Um, if they can encourage people to stay out of the water, it could be very, very pretty. Me? Tam Eng, Tam Eng to me. Oh, Geng Mang. Wow. I have just met a friend that I met at the fishing park the other day, Marius, uh, from Germany, and we were talking about people that could fall in here because it's unprotected on the sidewalk and when there are so many people walking you just can't help but feel that there could be an accident and somebody go in it's an accident waiting to happen there's a variety of style of stalls here some have put a lot of money into it some not got the money to set up a, a stall some have got no stalls at all along the backs of their homes if they do live here and there's a shop front next door and uh, you know shop front either side of them they've got people you know passing their doorstep day in day out they've got no choice uh, to accept it it's an opportunity. This area is one of the poorest places in Chiang Mai and uh, for many, many years uh, it has been like a slum area. Well done to the people who thought about it and sparked this off. I can see that many people have had advance notice and set up nice stalls. Other people don't have the money and in time, I'm sure, will have a stall to have outside their home and have something better than just this simple uh, grill or you know this little barbecue stands with one little sweet corn on it and that sort of thing. It's a bit sad when you see that. And uh, other people have got a stand with signage and lighting and all sorts. So hopefully in time it will be sort of balanced and more attractive for each uh, uh, of the stallholders. See you in the next video. Bye bye.